Jimbo, good to come see on. you. It's Dennis class Miller. of you to come over, man. Oh, you're the greatest. Come on. And uh, hey, Larry, if you're watching, how you doing, bud? Can I tell you, they found the right guy, man. Uh, because somebody's got to bridge that gap between the history of it and the kid on after me tonight, I was overdoing Jimmy's show, was a gamer who's making a half. Billion. Folks, he plays games yeah. on a YouTube channel, and he makes a half a million Billion. dollars, even more. He's, he's, a, he's a millionaire. And he's doing movies now on TV. Ninja. Sweet kid. Ninja Blevins. Ninja Blevins. But I'm thinking, you really need somebody to keep their hand in being serving Johnny and all that. Yeah. And knowing who Ninja Blevins is, you're the perfect guy for it. I appreciate that. I, you know what it is? I do, really do love it. I love pop culture. I, I, I'm interested in it. Now I get to see all of my favorite pop culture people, my favorite comedians, my favorite musicians. Uh, I did a sketch with Bob Dylan. Unbelievable. It was insane. That's you go, w w w how is this real? How is this? But you get to be as creative. You, you know what it's like doing Saturday Night Live. Yeah, I mean, but Jimmy, you have that whole other toolbox, man. You know, I, I can write a good joke. I can tell a good joke, but I'd never had, like, uh, the characters. The uh, you, you know, I look at that. There are nights you just, to Bowie, uh, or what was oh, that? Yeah. To... <laughs> we were Tim Tebow and David Bowie as one person. I'm sitting at home going... <laughs> Carson, what he did, this is so beautiful. I love doing it. It's it's a true variety show. Yes. And so I get to sing with people. I get to dance. We did a thing uh, with J Lo, the history of music video dancing, mm -hmm. and I, you know, and I practice for like three days. Yeah. I'm a terrible dancer, but I'm, and but I'm dancing with J Lo. She comes in 20 minutes, nails it. She's like doing all the moves. But you get to do that one night. Then I get to you know sit down with uh, Kamala Harris mm -hmm. the next night, and it's like. This, this is perfect for my yeah. ADD brain. It's a nice salon, Jimmy. You run a beautiful shop over there, oh. man. And I'm telling you, your parents gifted you. Yeah, I had a pretty great uh, childhood. My parents, uh, my mom, uh, yeah, she did pass away, but they were married for over 40 years. I think it's because they couldn't hear each other by the end. <laughs> by the end, I was like, dude, they would, I would call, and you go, huh? What? Huh? <laughs> what? Huh? Huh? That was their Gloria. pillow talk. What? I go, oh, oh, that's their pillow. I would call on the phone and go, hey, mom, what? What? I go, what do you think I said? Hello. How do you answer the phone? Uh, but she, they, they moved, I moved them to this, out of the house and to this beautiful little kind of one floor place. Uh, and I said, you got to go out and go visit the town. Go take a bus ride somewhere. So I took the bus for the first time. I was like, I don't, I don't even know where the bus is. Take a bus. So I go, yeah, just take a bus. They got on the bus. They go, they, I go, go to the mall. They go to the mall and they're in the back of Macy's, mm -hmm. right? And so they go, look, it's Macy's here. And so they're walking around. My mom could barely walk. She walks like, like Ozzy Osbourne. You know, she kind of just kind of, she would just do, just drag her feet. And yeah, it really, it would take her a half hour to go from here to say hi to you. Uh, so she's walking with my dad and she's like, look, there's a Chinese restaurant here. Peking duck, <laughs> Peking duck. And my dad goes, huh, what? She goes, there's a, China, there's a restaurant here, Peking duck. He goes, what are you talking about? What? She goes, look at the sign. He goes, Glor, that says parking dock. <laughs> They're in the back of a Macy's. They're in the back of a Macy's, dude. Dude, They're insane people. Dude, I, we, oh, went, to, we went to a wedding once, and when my parents first met my wife's parents, mm -hmm. they have a summer house in New Hampshire. Beautiful old family house, been there for like five generations. Mm -hmm. They go to visit them, and uh, for the first time, my mom calls me the night before, and she goes, so I go, hello? She goes, don't hang up. Which means she's gonna say something that's gonna make me mad. So I go, what, what do you mean? What are you calling? What's going, what's going on? She goes, are you still coming? She goes, yeah, we're still coming. One thing happened. Daddy's tooth fell out. I go, okay. She goes, his front tooth fell out. I go, well, go to a dentist, get it fixed. She goes, can't, the dentist is on vacation. They live in a small town. I go, well, this is awful. What are you, what are you gonna do? She goes, he's just not gonna smile. I'm like, gonna smile for the meeting, meeting my, the <laughs> to meet the parents. I go, <coughs> okay, I'm hanging up. I'm hanging up the phone. She goes, wait, well, I have one more thing. You watch, she goes, um, I, I rubbed my eye last night in my sleep. I have a bloody eye. I go, great, this is perfect. So you're gonna wear like an eye patch. So this is, here comes my parents, jack-o'-lantern, jack-o'-lantern face and a, and a pirate with a red <laughs> bloody eyeball. Oh. And I go, oh my, so they come out and this is, and I'll, just, I'll cut to this, a long story, but I'll cut this. My dad, as a, Joe jumps in the lake. There's a lake, Winnipesaukee right. there in New Hampshire. And it's, uh, you know, it's not even quite summer. I think it was October maybe. So it was too cold to even go swimming. <laughs> but he jumped in and it was funny and that's good and all this stuff. So we're about to get ready. We're going to dinner and I'm upstairs getting ready. And uh, there's a knock at the door. It is my mom. And uh, she's wearing this, she, has, she had one outfit. She has like a white linen 
suit. She looked like uh, Bishop Desmond Tutu. And uh, she, I go, Mom, what's up? What is she? goes, there's smoke around. I go, what's going on? She goes, everything's fine. Nothing's on fire. And I go, what are you talking about? Nothing's on fire. What happened? She's like, Daddy, when he jumped in the lake, had all of his money in his pocket. I go, uh-huh. She goes, so he had like $500. I go, yeah. She goes, so he wanted to dry his money, so he put it in the microwave. And he lit on fire. My dad lit, he microwaved $500, lit it all on fire. this, I go, Jesus, get it oh. together. You got to go down, this burnt $20 bills all over the kitchen. I go, this is an old family house that's been around for hundreds of years. I mean, it could go up and fly. I mean, in a second. It's the geriatric fun. equivalent of making it rain at a strip club. I'm mean, burning like, up I go, burning up. I go, oh my God, dude. I, it was just, it's things like that that. I think made me kind of who I am. Um, by the way, uh, you just kicked off, I think you had your premiere week and you did live shows? Yeah, uh, I did live shows that were great, but why do we, Why would I do that? Why would I go live? I mean, the, the juice, you, I, you dig the juice. You were always great in the moment. No, I know, but I mean, do you ever miss that? The the, the live stuff, the Serenit Live? Listen, all? I think you're built for it when you're young, because I don't know about you, I felt like a, a rodeo rider, man. I'd sit in there and go, let's go. Let's see what happens. But uh, as you get older, you look back on it, you think, geez, I, where, where did I? Have the cojones to pull that off. Right. I mean, how late would you would you stay out all night? Afterwards, yeah, yeah. just wired. I was there one night with uh, Lauren and Horatio Sands, who was he was my comedy, he was my partner in crime. Yeah, when I was there, the years Funny I was guy. there, Jeez. great guy. Uh, and so we're there, we're drinking. It's got to be five thirty in the morning, maybe almost six. The sun was like coming up. Yeah, and we're drinking David Wells, the pitcher for the Yankees. Yeah, sure. Is there. So and, and Lauren, and we're all at the table, and we're all drinking and. Tell, you're just amped up. So I go, I gotta go home. So me, Lauren, Horatio, we split. We go home, and uh, Wells is still there. I said, bye to David Wells, I go, cool. I wake up the next day around 1.30 in the afternoon. I turn on TV, watching the, and there's a Yankee game on, and David Wells is pitching. I go, that's insane. I got my, my, my out of my mind. So I, I, I look at it, maybe it's one of the like, Yankees classic games, like, mm -hmm. you know, classic old games. It's not. It's so I call Horatio up, I wake him up, it's two o'clock in the afternoon, he's like, hello? I go, you gotta put on uh, Channel 11. Wellesie's pitching. He's like, there's no way. I go, I, I know, dude, we left him, he was six in the morning. He goes, there's no way. I go, well, watch it, it's on TV right now. And he watched, puts it on, he actually is pitching. That's the day he pitched the perfect game. The perfect game. I was out with him till, I, was, I left around six. I mean, those SNL things would go nuts. There's something to be said for not going in too focused on the task at hand and just letting it all happen. That's the key to SNL, I always thought. I used to fight it up front a little and think I've got to make this perfect. And then I thought, no, no, you just can't turn into a sweat act if it goes wrong. Yeah. They, they dig the uh, Scaramouche stuff. Yeah, yeah exactly. They dig the flourish. If, if they're, like yeah, you exactly. and Rachel that night. That's one of the funniest things where... She was such a pro, but she fell out on a Debbie Donner one night. Uh, oh yeah, dude! And oh, that is as it. hard as I've laughed. Dude, the room was shaking. It was like so. It felt like the whole room. It felt like it was ninety-five degrees. It was just like really hot and shaking. And I was like, just say your lines, because I don't want to laugh. Rachel and be the Jets, guy that, we're talking about. And folks. she's so good. And I was like, just say your line, just so I can end the sketch. It was called Debbie Downer, and we're. <laughs> I love the premise. Is great. It was like she. We brought her to Disney Disneyland, yeah. the happiest place on earth. And she's just saying, like, you know, uh, her, her, she thinks her cat has feline AIDS. Right. And, you know, stuff like that. And now she's lactose intolerant. And every time she would say something, this camera would zoom in and go, wah, wah. wah. So uh, I think the last line of the sketch was, um, well, it's official. I can't have children. It's like, <laughs> why would you bring that up <laughs> at, Dis at breakfast at Disneyland? And we're all know what the, we all know what the line is. <laughs> Amy Poehler shaking, Fred Armisen shaking, Horatio was actually dipping his eyes. He had Mickey Mouse waffles and he was crying so hard. He was doing that and I was like, and just she say, couldn't, gather she couldn't say the line and then she finally just spit it out, almost throwing up and <laughs> crushed and the room was shaking. It was just one of those things where I'm like, that's the moment. That you live for. You got to watch those YouTubes, folks. And if you go back and watch that one, that literally, along with Farley and Patrick Swayze and Chippendales, might be the biggest laugh I've ever heard I'm watching not that, that was, show. I mean, Farley, that, I only got to meet him once. It was lucky. I met him with Sandler uh, at, years ago. And I said, hi. He goes, uh, he goes uh, I go, I'm such a fan of yours. You know? And he goes, uh, he goes, oh, thank you very much. And, uh, you know, uh, yeah. are you a comedian? Oh, that's good. <laughs> thank you very much. And then Sandler would come over and be like, <laughs> and he goes, <laughs> you know, and then they start just like, 
<laughs> they turn immediately turn and like two the characters just turn right on. I'm like, that's, that's who has done it smoother than Adam. I mean, when you think about it, I'd say bang for buck, money in versus money out. There's a chance Adam Sandler's the biggest movie star in Ever. the history of show business. He's, I mean, I mean think about it. Should just thank him for it. He just did something with Jennifer on Netflix, and they're still the, the streaming numbers are the crazy. The number, yes, the big. He, and, also, and a lovely guy. The uh, best dude you'll yeah, ever run into. the best guy in the world. No. He just is so nice and loves his family and he's loyal to his friends and uh, I, I just love him. I remember what the first time I did an impression of him. I, uh, <laughs> a good one. We, we, Hurley he was on the show and he's like, you should call Adam just to go over the impressions and make sure he's cool. Oh, really? So yeah, so he That's called Adam. That's his guy, Adam. Yeah, so yes, yeah. So he goes, so we call up uh, and he goes, uh, he goes, I go, hello? And he goes, uh, all right, let me hear it. That's, that's his first line to me. That's the first thing. Goes, All right, let me hear. I go, well, there's three levels. First, you do this level of where you're like, uh, you know, uh, my, my mother, uh, you know, she uh, lives in a, you know, apartment building. And uh, he goes, it. yeah, he goes. And then the second level is the, hey, boy, hey, boy, hey, boy, hey, He goes, that's right. He goes, and the third one is like, shut up. <laughs> and he goes, yeah, that's good. You can do it. Go, that's great. Good luck, buddy. And I hope you have a great career. And he was just rooting for me. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.